Hello, this is Father Daniel Kim, marital missioner, and welcome to our daily gospel reading and reflection. Today's gospel reading is according to St. Luke, chapter 4, verses 38 to 44. After Jesus left the synagogue, he entered the house of Simon. Simon's mother-in-law was afflicted with a severe fever, and they interceded with him about her. He stared over her, rebuked the fever, and it left her. She got up immediately and waited on them. At sunset, all who had people sick with various diseases brought them to him. He laid his hands on each of them and cured them. And demons also came out from many, shouting, You are the Son of God. But he rebuked them and did not allow them to speak, because they knew that he was the Christ. At daybreak, Jesus left and went to a deserted place. The crowds went looking for him, and when they came to him, they tried to prevent him from leaving them. But he said to them, To the other towns also I must proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God, because for this purpose I have been sent. And he was preaching in the synagogues of Judea. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. The way Peter's mother-in-law responded right after she was healed by Jesus holds within a fundamental expression of Christian discipleship. I think it is reasonable to say that more times than not, whenever someone recovers from a debilitating illness, this newfound lease on life prompts most to take measures to fulfill many of the personal goals that they have neglected due to whatever apprehensions they had prior. And many of these goals would be related to the self, such as traveling the world, trying new things, etc. However, we see in Peter's mother-in-law the immediate desire to serve rather than anything else as soon as she regained her strength. Such is the model for all of us, because it is through service and sharing of our lives that we become truly fulfilled and well. Thank you for listening to today's Gospel reading and reflection. Please be sure to tune in again tomorrow. Have a blessed and wonderful day. If you enjoyed today's gospel reading and reflection, please make sure that you subscribe wherever you're listening to podcasts. Also, if you know somebody who may find value in today's reading, please make sure that you share it with them. To learn more about how you can support the work that Mary Knoll does around the world, please visit us at MaryKnollSociety.org. And if you're interested in subscribing to our online magazine, please feel free to visit us at MaryKnollMagazine.org. Thank you once again for spending your time with us today, and God bless.